Edilberto spent two months in a coma in a Paris hospital last year after contracting COVID-19. Doctors told his family there was a chance he wouldn't live. His recovery took weeks. A video of the day he returned home after his ordeal shows him looking dazed and fragile. I came back to life, but I was totally weak and I was scared to fall asleep because I thought if I went to sleep I would die and I could not let that happen. It was a battle. I had to fight to live. Edilberto survived, but many have not. French health officials say more than 100,000 people have died of COVID-19 since the start of the pandemic more than a year ago. Among them, health worker Patrick Grasset. His daughter says he died alone at home. People need to understand that death in COVID times is extremely violent because you can't see your loved one, you can't hold their hand or say goodbye. In a tweet, the French president said that the victims would not be forgotten. Our thoughts are with their families, their loved ones, for children that have lost a parent or grandparent, for bereaved siblings and friendships cut short. The fact that 100,000 people have died of COVID-19 is a sad and grim milestone for France, particularly for those who have lost loved ones. And it comes at a time when the country is still battling a third wave. At a hospital near Paris, this doctor says that some deaths could have been prevented if the French government had imposed tighter restrictions. And unfortunately, uh, uh, the French government has decided to try to, to live with, with the virus and to let the virus circulating, circulating uh, within the population. And definitely that strategy is at least partly responsible for the... Uh, for so many deaths. The government has accelerated its vaccine rollout and did move to a partial lockdown after resisting calls for weeks to do so. It says it will lift some of those restrictions in mid-May. Some health workers say that would be too soon. Edilberto agrees. He says it's important for him to share his experience and raise awareness about the dangers of COVID. His way, he says, of honouring those who didn't make it. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.